Hello, and welcome. I'm Xander, and here we are once again playing Resonant Rise. Now, I might have made a bookcase. The uh, reason being because I end up with... I'm just getting books. These are tomes for changing your affinity in Ars Magica. I had one. I got another one while exploring. As you open... You know, these three are the ones we started with. And then I got a pearl, and I ended up with that. So, uh, the pearl's right here. I don't believe I put a block of sand back in him. Uh, I suppose I'll show the significance of the rubber wood. The cool thing about the rubber wood, other than the fact that the precision sawmill is noisy, as is most mechanism machines, when you run it through the sawmill, you have a 100% chance of a rubber bar. So, that is extremely useful. And you also get oak wood instead of uh, the jungle wood that you would normally which I'm okay with. So, I was getting a collection of coal because I may end up needing it at some point. Uh, however... Alright, he stopped. Uh, I kind of was draining my power because I realized I could actually put the cell inside of that. And granted, I can pick those up and they'll maintain their power as we saw. But that thing worked fantastically, and I used the Empowered Item Conduit and the Transceivers to run around. I switched these two. You'll notice they're not connected anymore for good reason. This guy's pretty much full. But uh, I ran around using the Transceivers and their item thing to put everything in here. I ended up with, it was technically 45 chests. I used one of them to make that barrel. Uh diamond blocks, tons of other things, and look at this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven mob spawners. That, that's a bit ridiculous. And then there's all kinds of different little bits of ore and stuff, like the steel, which I'll put in there, on the topic of steel. I'm... Where did you come from? You're interrupting me. I did the math. Uh, if you're not using fire mode on this... Oops. Uh, no. There we go. It'll shoot flaming arrows now. As you can see. Uh, if you're not using fire mode, you'll get about a thousand uses out of it. Uh, fire mode, I'm not sure, but I'm going to assume it consumes considerably more power. It does still use arrows, so I have those on me. I'm looking at about 6 million power in there now, whereas this is at 50 million. But uh, we're going to switch this out, because now that I've went through and pretty much taken everything I want, we're going to try and tear it down. Now, we're going to need a collection module. As you can see, it says it collects blocks dropped from the disintegration module. Pretty simple, just a hopper and some focus matrices. Then we're going to make a disintegration module, which disintegrates the blocks space occupied by the force field and drops them. So the two of these together will basically put it into a chest. It, does it, it doesn't actually say it, but it'll put it in a chest next to this guy. The force field projector. Pretty straightforward stuff. Now we're going to need a force field pattern. I was originally thinking about making custom mode, but the amount of power it takes to create the thing to tear down this entire structure at once requires way more power. So instead I'm going to use cube mode and I'm going to create it in a plane. It's just going to be a one block thick 64 by 64. It shouldn't take too much power. I should be able to handle it with what's what I have now. And I'm going to tear it down. Now I'm going to make a remote control because when you're messing with force fields... It's always good to have an emergency shutdown switch. I believe that is it for those. Uh, I'd originally had more things set up in there, and then, like I said, I decided against additive. But if you take scale modules surrounded by focus modules, or focus matrices, you'll get translation. Now, scale increases the size, and translation changes the location. It can push it in a direction. So if we take down our interdiction matrix, which I took the stuff out of, it's inside of the thing there, and we put that guy up there. Now, all of these are turned off for the moment, but we can turn them on, get it generating power. 
and he's going to start shoving power into here as well. I'm not sure if we have enough power to handle this. I might need to make some of these, although I'd rather not. But if we put that there... Hmm, I don't think I'm going to have enough scale modules for this now. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. I can fix this. Wrong chest. Or... 16... 16. I can fix this. That is not how you make them. There we go. So, it'll start by default as one plane thick. And before we go anywhere, not that, we're going to right click on this guy, shift right click, and we'll bind it to him. So now we can right click on this to open it up. This will drain power, I believe, on activate from the device it's connecting to, or maybe just from the capacitor. I'm not sure. I know, I'm pretty sure it drains power. Now what we're going to do, is we're going to put 32, 32, 32, 32, and we're going to translate it up two blocks. Uh, we should be able to support that. I hope. Although the moment... Oops, that is not where I want you. Uh, yeah, okay. Might be able to handle that. It's going to go down. Oh, uh, right. So I'm going to knock out this little block here, and I'm going to put this guy next to the projector, and I'm going to turn him back on. Now you see the little red lines coming out? Uh, this floor is double thick. Why are you not... Why are you not... Uh... That's awkward. Completely forgot that it was going to do that. Uh, we've managed to mine up, mine up apparently 10 blocks so far. That is a bit awkward. Now, unfortunately, our transfer speed out of this is not fast enough. So, we're going to have to spend more power than I originally wanted. Uh, let's just... You know what? Screw it. We'll do it like that. Because why not? Okay, we'll just do this the lazy way, since we can. Now, that is way more redstone than I'm ever going to need for this. Make 21 more and hope that it's enough. Oh. I'm used to factorization barrels where it doesn't like things like that. Cool. So, this ups the rate. So let's see if this bad boy can keep up with this now. Uh, it doesn't look like it. It's still just a little bit too slow. I bet one more round of them could probably resolve that. But, uh, once these guys go through here, let's just... Hmm. Hmm. Uh, well, first of all, let's just make one more set. What's the worst that happens? We spend a bunch of diamonds and... Well, let's be honest. I'm going to use all of this at some point. I'm not even going to lie about that. So, it doesn't really hurt me at all to be doing this. Because modular force field, it's fun. I can use it for decorative purposes. That is not where I want you. Now, it will still pull blocks. It just won't really have a graphic. Now. I think it's going down still. It's hard to tell. So, once it finishes clogging this thing up, which I'm going to have to pull these out eventually, we can go up here. And we can see that it is stealing blocks straight out of the ground. Now, our machine is at Y level... Looks like 64? That seems a little low. 
And the absolute highest point in this is, well, high enough. We'll figure it out eventually. But the first thing that's going to happen is the entirety of this floor is going to get eaten and destroyed by this. My eventual goal is to tear this entire building down. Tear it down! Tear it all down! So, that's the goal there. Now, it's going to be nighttime. And I slept just before I started recording, so that's at least a good gauge of time. Now, it may not be... Oh, there it is. Yeah. It is going to slowly, slowly eat away, like right there. We can see that it's hitting the entire outside edges. And it's just going to eat that entire layer, and I'm going to very slowly uh, send it up one at a time. Now, the only thing that worries me is... I can do this real quick and it won't hurt anything. If I were to throw these in here, what's the power usage? Yeah. That's a bit much. Oh, and I cut this open because I thought about using this, but I've just decided I'm tearing the entire place down. So, yeah. The good news is, it, I've decided that right or, right in here, you can see a few stone bricks that I placed on the ground. I'm not sure what these are. Uh, I'm going to build right here, because I thought about building closer and building terrain, but you can actually see the uh, Mystic Grove over here, and it looked a t little bit too happy-go-lucky for what I was after. So I'm building closer to the Ominous Woods, because it the whole point of this is look kind of sinister and evil. But I'm probably going to make uh, more speed modules, which means I'm going to need to get more ores, which isn't a huge issue. And this isn't drawing that much power. We've only taken about 60,000, well, I guess like 300 and some odd thousand RF out of it. But, I mean, it's no quarry or anything, but I know that this is reliable and it will get everything. And I already had the stuff built. Now, I could use this, but this thing will drain stupid amounts of power to tear that whole thing down. As you can see on this, we've already managed... It's pretty quick, actually. I mean... We've already gotten over a couple hundred blocks. So, that's all well and good. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to build the place out of yet. I'm thinking... If we look at chisel, there is a block type in here. Futuristic armor plating block. It's made with one piece of iron and some stone, and you get eight per. So it'll take a bit of iron to make, but uh, you can chisel it into all these different blocks. So, although, see, I kind of want to do it with the other with these factory blocks but I kind of want to use them for something else and I'd rather not overuse them uh, I mean I suppose I could use I don't know I honestly do not know I, I'm definitely not using these these are blocks of iron and blocks of diamond I cannot afford that not at all hmm the unfortunate thing is, is, there's a lot of mods that add blocks, but there's not a lot of mods that add purely decorative, easy-to-make blocks. And that is the major problem with things. I mean, I can sit here, and I can click through, and I can see blocks and that I'm like, ooh, those look good. Uh, not so much these. Partly because these need to match my current nether brick coloring, at least. But I'll get around to that eventually. One thing I do kind of want to do is get uh, AE. Its storage system, I mean, yeah, it's super condensed, but I'd rather not have to manage a million billion things in case I ever want to move. That That's really the major appeal about Applied Energistics. Although, there is other solutions. 
I could still use that, but not use the standard method of storing things. That might sound a little strange. What I could do is I could set up a tree farm and get a bunch of barrels, but I could store those barrels in, say, like a pocket dimension or something. Although there's a risk of me getting myself stuck in that pocket dimension, so that might not be a good idea. But anyhow, what I do kind of want to do is get this a bit au automated at some point. Although, I eventually want to move past this, and I'm not sure how easy that's going to be. I really did a number on my power supply, though. And you were obnoxiously loud, sir. I changed the bed to black, which I had to actually break the bed to do, which was kind of annoying. And apparently, you can dye the bed frames, even though there's other things on it. I do know something really cool, and I know this won't consume the seed, so I'm going to do it. If you take your seeds, or like grass or something, you can apply it to carpenter's blocks. Uh, it's not really very visible at the moment. Let's grab my carpenter's hammer. So, let's for example just make these solid. As you can see, it applies the sort of grass texture down over the side of it. And cool enough, it even inherits the uh, grass texture of your current texture pack. So that's cool. Uh, I wish it was a little bit more fluid, if that makes any sense. And it inherits the uh, coloring of the current biome, which is nifty. I'm going to leave those there for now. I'm eventually going to tear them down anyhow to move over into the sludge pit. But... First things first, I really want to tear this down. Uh, if you remember that fountain in the middle of this floor, not this floor, that floor, I don't know why, but for some odd reason, interacting with that water in any way destroys your frame rate. So I have no idea what exactly is going on with Chocolate Quest and how it works, but it, it's going on. And kind of in a way I don't like. You know, a cool thing we could do, that as far as I know, wouldn't increase the power requirements much. Let's just throw even more away, because why not? I really, really don't care as much as I probably should about just throwing away resources like this. Uh, I want the speed modules. I'm not sure how much power this is going to require to maintain. Give me that. But there's always that chance that it's not going to add too much to it. Eh, that's fine. It makes it operate faster, but it also increases the number of blocks at any one time that it will pull. So, if these weren't in here, screwing with us, we'd be able to get a better representation. But if you watch, it's pulling, I don't know, probably ten blocks at a time right now. And we're maintaining it pretty well, but I'm going to need probably another stack of speed upgrades. Great. I'll make them since I'm here. I am burning through my supply of diamonds like you would not believe. And out of sheer simplicity, okay, maybe it's not quite as simple as I wanted to make it be. Okay, that should be enough. This will get us 42 with some leftovers again. This should be enough to serve any potential power requirements we need. Hopefully. This isn't going anywhere. But, you're not supposed to be there. If I were to put these here, would it keep up? Uh, yeah, it looks like it is. Okay, taking those back out because that's a bit unnecessary. Now, I realize a lot of this is just going and looking what modular force field is doing. But as you can see, ever since I put those in there... This floor is rapidly decaying. 
Now I'm intentionally leaving that one layer because I don't want to leave myself exposed to the sky just yet. I am going to eventually tear the entire place down, but I'm not prepared for the absolute bottom yet. Not until I at least have a roof and four walls up over in the sludge pit. Occasionally that's going to happen. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can do about that, but I'm not really too concerned about losing some torches. And in the case of the higher up areas, I'm going to end up with a redstone shower. So that'll be fun. Uh, I might eventually get my torches back, but probably not. Not most of them. But this might be a bit shorter, but I wanted to get the deconstruction started. Uh, how are we doing? Uh, we're about 20 minutes in. I do kind of want to do mariculture stuff, but unfortunately, that's a bit of work, I guess is the best way to say it. There's a zombie head in there. I never put any sand back in his mouth, although I believe I said that. I don't know how long it took, I wasn't really paying attention, there was just one point where I came out and went, I wonder if he's got a pearl. It'll look almost the same, except for it'll be a bit larger, and they can be different colors. So I'm gonna let this go, and I suppose I had one episode that was almost an hour long, so it's, you know, it's fine if I have one episode that's like 20 minutes. So, I'm going to call this good. A lot of deconstruction work. Uh, probably start... I'm going to come up with a block type I want to use, and then we'll start construction in the sludge pit. So, yeah, I'm going to call this good, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good day.